All right, so just a little word problem here involving fractions and division of fractions. Suppose we've got um, a board that's five and uh, one-fourth feet long. We're going to cut this up into little uh, planks that are three-quarters of a foot long, and we want to know how many of these little planks can we get. So you can probably see it through there. I've got my little picture here. So suppose we cut, you know, we've got our board here. It's five and uh, one-fourth feet long, and we're going to cut it up into these little planks that are, uh, you know, three-fourths of a foot long each. And, okay, so I just put some arbitrary number in there. Don't count them up and say, oh, well, that's not right, because I doubt it is. So, but, again, that's the idea, right? We've got a, a long piece of wood. We want to chop it up into a bunch of smaller pieces, and we want to know how many of these smaller pieces can we get. Well, again, what we're doing is... We're taking five, or uh, our, our piece of wood that's five and one uh, one fourth feet long, and we're going to divide it into pieces that are three fourths of a foot long each. Okay, so that's what we have to do. We've got to take uh, the five and one fourths and divide it by three fourths. And again, sometimes if you have a problem like this, and maybe the numbers are kind of throwing you off, and you're like, do I have to multiply or divide, or I don't know, you know, make it easier numbers. Suppose it was 10 feet long, and suppose they were, you know, two feet each. You know, maybe this is a little bit easier, right? You know, if it's 10 feet long, and they're two feet each, well, okay, um, yeah, you can get five. And Well, how do you get that? You take the total length and you divide it by, you know, the length of each, little, each smaller piece. So sometimes I think about these problems, you know, when I do these problems, um, I think about them with easier numbers just to sort of make sure that I'm doing the right thing. In this case, division. So, okay, division makes sense. And now I say, oh, I've got a mixed number divided by, you know, a fraction. I'm going to make these both into fractions. 4 times 5 is 20 plus 1 will be 21 over 4, uh, divided by 3 over 4. Well, now I'm going to make my division into multiplication by multiplying by the reciprocal. But now I can cancel out some factors immediately. Okay, so the 4 and the 4, we could just say, well, 4 divided by 4 is 1, 4 divided by 4 divided by 4 is also 1. We can do the same thing with the 21 over the 3. I'm just going to be lazy and write it, though. 21 times 1 is 21 over 3. Well, 21 divided by 3 is going to give us 7. So it says, actually, uh, if we chop up this piece of wood, this long piece of wood, we should get exactly 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So um, I've got too many, too many parts. So it says you would get exactly... Uh, seven little little uh, planks of wood that are three-fourths of a foot each. And again, all we're doing, just a little bit of division. Again, you have to make your mixed number into a fraction. Uh, division by a fraction turns into multiplication by the reciprocal. And then it's just a matter of doing the arithmetic and simplifying it down.